What up, everybody? In the Power Book Ghost Season 3 finale, Tariq met up with Tasha at the park. And after telling her he lost his trust in the Western Ponzi scheme, he told her that he just needs that money, that power. The type of stuff that makes you untouchable, like Noma. The same thing that Tariq's father, James St. Patrick, was after. And Tasha claimed that that's what took him down. Keep it in mind that Tommy told Tariq earlier in the same episode that it was Ghost choosing to live between two worlds that brought him down. So who is actually right about what led to Ghost's downfall, Tommy or Tasha? Because in reality, neither one of them are correct if in fact Ghost is actually dead. Because it was underestimating his own son that actually did him in. But continuing with the conversation between Tariq and Tasha, after Tasha told Tariq that seeking money and power was what led to Ghost's demise, Tariq told her that he would learn from Ghost's mistakes and that they would be lessons to him. And last week I made a video on this specific topic, talking about how Tariq could learn from Ghost's mistakes to make sure he survives the final season of book two. I'll leave a link to that video in the description if you haven't checked it out yet. But in that video, I talked about Tariq learning from Ghost in these specific ways. Like Tommy told Tariq either being all in or all out, not returning to a former lover, not leaving Tasha in the dark, not turning to alcohol or substance abuse, not making spontaneous kills, confirming the deaths of kills, and not underestimating your op. And in this video, I want to focus specifically on that last lesson Tariq can learn from Ghost, and that is never underestimating your op. Because like I said at the beginning of this video, if Ghost is indeed dead, underestimating his own son is what took him out. And in the season 3 trailer, we see Tariq standing in the same position Ghost was standing right before he turned around and was shot by Tariq at Club Truth. Leaving many to ask the question, will Tariq meet the same fate as his father? Possibly after graduating from college and maybe even find a way to get his inheritance back or at least Club Truth back from Stern. Maybe even in the same position Ghost was, thinking he's unstoppable, before someone who he least expects comes in and cancels his Christmas. Going back to earlier in Season 3 at the Stansfield Classroom, when Professor Bonnet asked all her students to write a goal on a card. Tariq's goal was family, trying to reunite with his mother and sister after he graduated and got his inheritance. But then after losing his inheritance in the Ponzi scheme, is when Tariq decided to pursue the money and power like Noma, because he figured that would be the only way to get Tasha and Yaz back and have a life worth living. So much like Ghost thinking he was out of the game and on his way to Albany with the money and the power before getting shot by Tariq. Tariq could find himself in a similar position having everything he wanted standing in the same position as Ghost. Keep in mind that when Ghost first opened Truth in episode 1 of Power, he was standing across the street telling his dad he did it. Quote, your son did it. Could Tariq be in a similar position after learning more about his father? Could he be having a similar conversation, standing in the same position where he shot him at? Then at the end of Power Season 2, Ghost really thought he made it out the game crystal clear, thinking both Lobos and Kanan were now dead, and that he could just focus on Club Truth and Angela moving forward. But little did Ghost know that it was just the beginning of his troubles, that both Kanan and Lobos were still alive. And that he would also have Milan, a.k.a. Dean, waiting for him as well to pay him back for taking out his New York distro. But after leaving Kanan for dead in a burning building, Ghost went to meet up with Tommy, his day one, whose relationship was shaky at this point to say the least. Letting Tommy know that both Lobos and Kanan was dead and the game is over. He's going legit now. When Tommy asked Ghost, what about me? What was he supposed to do moving forward? When Ghost told Tommy it wasn't his fault, Tommy never diversified. And it was at this point that Tommy pulled out his gun and pointed it at Ghost. But at this point, Ghost was already a step ahead of Tommy and didn't even sweat having the gun pulled on him because Dre walked up to Tommy and put his gun to the back of Tommy's head and told him to get to stepping. So with that said, I think that book two might conclude in a very similar way as Power Season 1 with Ghost thinking he was on top of the world, not even knowing all that he had coming for him moving forward. In the same way as Tariq is standing in a similar position to what Ghost was standing in before getting shot, I think that Tariq will do what he told Tasha he would do at the end of Season 3 and learn from Ghost's mistakes, letting them be lessons to him. 
So as Tariq is standing at the balcony or wherever he's standing in truth, I think a shooter will come through the door ready to take Tariq out. Most likely even someone who Tariq would least expect. Then as the shooter draws his or her gun, Tariq's back up, like Dre was for Ghost at the end of Power Season 2, will come from behind and put their strap to the back of the person's head. And Tariq's going to be like, you're not going to catch me slipping like that because I've already seen this play before firsthand. Then this would be how Book To It in setting the stage for the next chapter of Tariq's life as well as the next spinoff book. Because I know a lot of people are upset that Book Two got canceled. But keep in mind what the star CEO said not too long ago. That it's more cost effective to cancel a series after season three or four and create a subsequent spinoff or even spinoffs. So at the ending of book two, we'll almost guaranteed get another spinoff sequel. And we might even get two spinoffs. Keep it in mind that we got three spinoffs from OG Power. But the big question is... If this is one of the final scenes of book two, with Tariq standing in the same position as Ghost was when he got shot, who would be the character who walks into truth to take Tariq out? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I have three characters in mind that would set the stage for the next spin-off. The first, of course, being Ghost coming back to get revenge on Tariq. I've made a video on this a while back talking about Ghost returning to kill Tariq. This was based off Power Season 6 after Tariq let Tommy in the penthouse to smoke Proctor. Ghost put a gun to the side of Tariq's head and said, The day you let Tommy in here to kill me, you became my enemy. Then he told Tariq to never think that he was smarter than him. So after Tariq shooting Ghost and attempting to take his life, this would make Tariq Ghost's enemy according to that philosophy. Then Brady would pull the strap on Ghost, not giving him an opportunity to smoke Tariq, setting the stage for the next spinoff. The other character I could see coming for Tariq, who he least expects, would be Brayden Weston. Keeping in mind at the end of Power Season 1, it was Tommy who pulled the strap on Ghost before Dre walked up on him. So because of that, there could definitely be something that goes down in Season 4 between Tariq and Brayden that makes Brayden seek revenge on Tariq. Possibly a Weston gets killed, and Brayden holds Tariq responsible for it. Then that would set the stage for the next spinoff, with Tariq and Brayden being enemies. Similar to how Tommy had the assignment to kill Ghost from Lobos going into the third season of Power. Or how Ghost and Tommy were at war in season 6 of Power. The final character I can see coming for Tariq is Elisa Marie Proctor. It's already been said that she will seek revenge against Tariq eventually. And when she does, that he won't even recognize her. So we could definitely see Elisa Marie coming for Tariq at the end of book 2. Setting the stage to have Elisa Marie and the Italian Mafia in the next spinoff. Then keep in mind how Ghost thought both Lobos and Kanan were dead at the end of Power Season 1. So with that said, I can also see a situation where a character like Kane survives, but Tariq thinks he's dead, only adding more suspense for the next book. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.